Hey everybody, Dubbridge Cool Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. Oh, you got Trunks and Mipus set 23. Yep. Happy days. Trunks is back. Uh, before we jump into this, at first glance, I will say I was on the fence about this deck. Yeah. Because of the way it seemed to want to function. And it still seems like it wants to do two different things. <laughs> and it doesn't quite make sense when I mean, you should just focus on just doing the one thing by that i mean like it basically wants to focus on my and tokens where it's just like why not to focus on one or the other because <laughs> you can't have a big boss monster my apparently so, um like, no i <coughs> play that and then so the leader Activate May was between the scarred one, say, and all earthling from your hand, play up to one green, my future card, and cost a one for your deck, and then shuffle your deck. Right. Now, how do leaders normally work when they do that? Do they all discard the cards, do that kind of thing? What did Broly do? Um, did Broly discard a card? What, the. So, the green Broly and the red Broly played out the card, but you only did that once in the game. So you didn't discard, but you played a card, and then it was like, yeah, after that, you can't touch this ability. Because that's the benefit of this one, is that you can do it more than once. That's the trade-off, yeah. Yeah, you can do it more than once, whereas Brody was like, get one drop, don't touch this ability ever again. See, I don't know whether I prefer that or this, because <laughs> I don't know how long you'll be on this side, so it's just like, why not just make it a... I personally think this is better. Because with Broly, it was handy being... So, like, with the green Broly, it was handy to play out the one cast and then you do the awakening, blah, 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 blah. But I would have liked to have been able to do it again before I awoke. Because then I'd have that resource open to me. So, like, if I wanted a combo piece or if I needed to go down a bit more life because my parents not really done anything, I'd be like, okay, or I can just rip two more and carry on. Um, so I feel like this is better. But... The downside is having to discard and have the target, but it's. I feel like it's kind of better that you can do it more than once than just once in the game. Mm. Especially when the red body that you had a red one cost extra card, you can only search once. So it's like you haven't got the field or you got your. like something else. So. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. Um. When you're set four or less, or you have three or more <coughs> earthling tokens, draw one, get an energy back, go down to six. A one one's always nice. Sorry? A one one's always nice. Yeah, it's good to get those, isn't it? Yeah. I go back. It's always draw two. <laughs> uh, so the awakened side, you gain a permanent. Uh, if you have a green saying card in play, all your earthling tokens gain barrier. That is very useful. That is insanely helpful. Uh, when this card attacks, you play up to one green My Future card and edge cost of one from your deck or drop, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. Additionally, nice. if you have, if you or your opponent uh, have a total of ten or more battle cards, this card gains ten k for a turn. Well, I don't see that being an issue um, if you can generate enough tokens. Yeah, because tokens count, and My generates tokens. So. Yeah, and then it's all your other battle cards as well. Yeah. And we've got a Z battle card my Earthling Sport, so you on cast with one ZNG. If believed it is a green card with mine trunks, when this card is played, you get an Earthling token. And then also limit one, if you have four more Earthling tokens, when this card attacks, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with edge cost three or less, KO it, and this gains 7k for the battle. Okay, <laughs> so you play, you get an Earthling token, and it swings each turn, you can pop something. Yeah. And it swings to the right number because it gains the 11k. Alright, that's actually a really good one drop. Yeah, that's pretty decent. And if anything, you can just bear from the on play. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, So we got one of two my one drops? Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> so there's the first one. So my 4k power. Um, Obviously, one cost. Also, when this card is played, you look at up to five cards on top of your deck. You add up to one Sane or Earthling. Both green range cost a four or less to your hands of your deck. So it's your normal deck searcher. Mm -hmm. Activate main. Limit one. If your leader card is green card with both Trunks and My Future. And you switch this card to rest mode to get an Earthling. Okay. Yeah, every deck now gets the two one drops. One that searches, one that draws. And it's 
just really useful to have yeah. back in yeah. decks. Um, so there we go. Final hope slash humanity's greatest secret weapon. Humanity's secret weapon. Yeah, Where did you I, get great from? I don't know. I just assumed it'd be there. <laughs> uh, so, cost two, two Z energy. Uh, Act main at one. If the leader is a green card, both trunks and my, your opponent has four more energy. You switch three of your earthling tokens to rest mode and remove this card from the game. During the next turn, your Next, during that turn. During that turn, the next time your green trunk switch with an edge cost of eight attached, your opponent can't activate counter. There you go. Damn, that is actually quite good. Four cards to play out, so you're not playing it out easily. <laughs> no, but it does benefit. Yeah. Oh, and now we're on to a, a trunks battle card now. Mm -hmm. The first one, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so 2 cost 5k permanent, if you have a my future card in play, you reduce the cost by 1, so it's a 1 drop, which is easily done because it's like you've got your leader, so, switch one of your earthling tokens to rest mode when his card attacks, draw one card, okay, right, so auto limit 1, switch one of your earthling tokens to rest mode when his card attacks, draw one card and it gains 5k, right, so, does, does the leader play it from the deck, doesn't it? Yeah, the leader can play a 1 cost my from the deck. Okay, so turn turn one, you can have trunks, my, and token. Yeah, and then if you're doing it on uh, turn one offensive, that's really good. Yeah, because you'll get to attack your leader, attack of this, and draw a card. Turn two, same principle. Yeah, but, yeah. So I turn one, turn two. This card is just great. If you're going <coughs> first in the game, you would essentially play. A my from the deck, and then potentially a my from your hand. Just to generate tokens quickly. Generate tokens and filter. Yeah. If you're going second, on your first turn you play Drunks and my. If you can, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the best way to do it. <coughs> uh, we've got my Link of Hope. So one cost, one K. Also when it's played, draw one card. Yeah, so. And then it's also got the ability to switch to rest mode and play a token. Mm. Did the leader play them in rest mode? I can't remember now. No. He just plays it. So you get choice. Uh, okay. Oh, that's really even more helpful though. I mean, it'd be kind of dumb if it played in rest mode because then you wouldn't generate a token. No, and then it would just die. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is me, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's a four cost trunks. Uh, there's a Goku and a Vegeta, and they all pretty much do exactly the same thing apart from the last effect, if I remember. They, they all have the same permanent. Yeah, but they also have the same auto up until the last effect, as far as I remember. Well, they have the same cost, do it. Yeah, well, so the permanent is, for each of your Earthling tokens, you reduce the cost by one, which is um, easily done, because you can generate enough uh, Earthling tokens from what we've seen so far. Yeah, that's point of the deck. So. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. auto limit one, unless you lose your Mai's, in which case it's just like, ah, okay, now I've got to get another Mai back out to try and generate more tokens, but, yeah. But the leader does that because it can play from drop. Yes, so that if your opponent kills it or you just combo it off to basically rest mode when you switch you switch to rest mode to generate tokens, so your opponent has to kill them off in order for you to get them As long back. as mine doesn't go to the warp, you're fine. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes to the warp, then you scream. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll totally limit one. Switch one of your earthling tokens to rest mode. When it's got attacks, draw one card, then use up to one Saiyan or earthling card, both mono green and 5k combo from your drop in a combo with your skills and game for turn. So cards like that are always fantastic because of the fact that they can just give you a free Z energy without you losing cards from hand. <laughs> yeah, it's what the game needs, is a way to keep generating Z energy outside of your hand. Uh, so we've got Vegeta, the Z battle card, one cast, one Z energy. Oh, it's got two limp one autos. It's like got 4k power. Oh yeah, 4k power, but eh. Um, so if you leave it as a green Vegito, or Trunks and Mai. When this card is played, play up to one Sun Goku Fusion in the future from your deck or drop in rest mode and shop your deck and look through it. And secondary also is remove this card from the game. When your Trunks feature with an energy cost of 8 attacks, your opponent discards the card from their hand. That is pretty nice. Yeah, making opponent discard a card and filtering. And if you <coughs> play the ZX card when Trunks attacks, you can just stop them from countering and discarding the card. Is also a nice combo. Yeah. And here's the four cost Goku. 
We get the same pediment, reduces cost by one. Limit one, switch one of your overing tokens to rest mode. When this card attacks, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's units and then remove two markers from it. So yeah, they they all have that initial switching yeah. and earthling, draw a card, then their effect. I'm so glad that he at least draws you a card because unisons aren't as common anymore. So. No. Uh, we got Goku Fusion in the future, one cost for K. When this card is played from behind, you draw a card. And when this card is played by a skill of Vegeta Fusion in the future, choose one of these and it gets 5k for a turn. So, so you can... either way you play it out is good. Yeah. And I think Vegeta can play it from the drop, so you could play from hand, draw, and then, um, yeah, deck or drop. So yeah, you could just play, draw, combo, do, combo, play it out, like you could combo it, put the energy, energy, pay the Z energy, play the drop, then the Vegeta then plays it from the drop. I just give you these 5k. Yeah. So it's pretty damn useful. And the full cost. Again, same permanent, reduced it by one. Again, same auto, apart from the very last bit, because it's all the same, Twitch and Earthlink to rest mode, draw a card. Then, its own personal effect, choose to one of your opponent's power cards, and you cost a five or less and KO it. That is useful. Yeah, you literally say, need to, as long as you know the first part of these guys, you just need to remember their individual after the draw bit, and that's it. Yeah. Otherwise, they're exactly the same card, because they've got the same cost, combo, <laughs> and power. It's just Goku's the worst one. <laughs> yeah. Ignoring that. Um, so we've got Beerus Power of Destruction. It's one cost 5k. When it's played for me. When this card is played, add one disposal of the ringleader from your deck to your hand and shuffle your deck. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for Cheeto, and um, this is just I mean, this is just good for either deck, isn't it? For the old green Vegito or this deck, because obviously you play out a Goku and Vegito. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a 7 cost for Geo, 25k power, it's got Deflect, Double Strike, Blocker, Union Batora for free green, uh, but it has to be a green for Geo Z battle card and a green Sun Goku. So the combo. The two cards, yeah. Yeah. Um, auto, once per turn, when this card attacks, choose to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. And then activate main, once per turn, if you or your opponent have a total of 10 or more battle cards, switch this card to active mode and your opponent discards one card from their hand. So it's a dual attack double striker. Or dual attack blocker. Whatever you want to go with. Well, I think... Uh, if you can meet that condition, of course. The benefit is, like, you can attack, get the KO, and then you can switch it back so you have a blocker. Yeah. Unless you want to push for the offensive. Yeah. And remove more things. Yeah. Um, a vanilla Zeno. Ooh. Um, okay. So we've got surprise attack. Four cost X card, counter attack, choose one of your rest mode Vegito cards and switch to active mode. That card gets 6k power for the battle, then switch the target. The oh, attack yeah, so you yeah. Chosen attack, card. attack, play this, get it back to active, use it as a dirty one blocker. Yeah, <laughs> and he it just is forced into being the blocker of that attack. Yeah. And then for each earthling you token you have, reduce the cost in your hand by one. Yeah. I just love the artwork. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a 6 cost for Juto now. It's an SR. That's an SR. Oh god. Um, it's got 20k power, Deflect, Double Strike, Union Batora, if you have 3 more energy, Green, Vegeta, Z Battle Card, and Green Sun Goku. Um, when this card is played, auto, uh, draw 1 card, choose up to 1 of your opponent's Battle Cards, and KO it. When it and then this card gains Barry and the end of your opponent's turn. Useful. Activate main limit one paint two green. If your leader card is green for Geo card or green uh, my future trunks future, uh, and your opponent has three more energy, play it to one green for Geo card with an energy cost of seven from your hand and active mode on top of this card. Oh, okay. So this is the way you're going to want to do it because it costs two instead of three. Yeah. And that, that one's a free Batora. Yeah. Um, if you do it in one turn, you're using three energy still because you played a Vegeta which costs one. Plays out the Goku, gives your leader 5k, um, fusion them off into this, you do this effect, uh, swing for double strike, 20k, um, as well as drawing a card, and then pay the 2, evolve into act on active, and then you got your 
big guy to swing twice potentially. Yeah, and if you have enough tokens and the spare energy, you've got your counter attack ready. Yeah, <clears throat> so really nice little package there. Yeah. Um, so we've got disposal of the ringleader. It's one cost. Active main. If your leader is green, choose up to one god card in your battle, and during that turn, it gets 5k and the following skill. Auto once per turn, when this card attacks, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Uh, uh, yeah, also, by way of this, there is other stuff. It's not just there's the like, trunks and there's stuff. There's two support cards for Broly. Yeah, there's the green extra deck. Broly's got support as well. <laughs> um, which, yeah, okay, we'll just go over it in this one as well. <laughs> um, so, you got... Theft of a control device, zero cost permanent. If this card is under Broly BR card, and you, you can activate this card's active skill under the same conditions as if it were in your hand. Activate main limit one. If your leader card is a green Broly card, uh, Broly BR, sorry, you look at up to five, six, five, seven cards on top of your deck. Add up to one green Broly BR to your hand and shuffle your deck. Activate main with one pain of green, place one green extra from your hand under one of your green Broly BR cards. Send this card to your uh, send this card from your drop to your warp, draw one card. That's very useful. Uh, mine. So we got Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, Path to the Future. This is mine. Uh, 8 costs 30k. Uh, auto, it looks so cool. This is what the SPR art should have been, because then it would have had that nice little extra texture to it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, auto winner's card attacks, chill to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and negate, indestructible, and KO it. <laughs> uh, activate main limit one, pain to green. If your leader card is green and you have three or more energy, you play this card from your hand. And during that turn, the next time you place a Z extra card in your battle area, it reduces cost by one green. So it becomes a one and two Z energy. Mm -hmm. Activate <clears throat> battle once per turn. If you've got four or more energy and you switch three of your everything tokens to rest mode, this card gains 5k power and triple strike per turn. Oh. See, now this is the kind of card that I really do like, and this is basically the reason that I really went. I am now making this deck. <laughs> yeah, and that <laughs> active main like, is just really useful, generically speaking. But yeah, for green. Yeah. Um, just because it can play it out, and then you got his auto for generic green uses, and yeah, if you got this, the extra card, part of it. But it's just a cheap thing that can kill things easily. Yeah. And it kills an indestructible card, which is very appropriate. Yeah, that's why I laughed. Yeah. Um, so we've now got the last card, which is. Broly Great Tape Strength to Come. Is it the last card? It yes. is. Yeah, see, this is what I... Like, <laughs> look, it's just... No. Yeah, it's great and all, but it uh, could have been better. I don't want it. I was saying that I expected it to be Trunks slicing so I must in half, but... Oh, well. Anyway. Yeah, so we got Broly. It's got Unique, Double Strike. Also, when this card is played, out to one green X card, we dropped his ENG. That is actually really useful. Um... Auto, uh, active main limit one even, sorry. If you have three or more energy and there's a total of six or more extra... Pain of green. Pain green. Uh, I was in the middle of reading. So, pain green. If you have three or more energy and uh, a total of six or more extras under your green Brody BR cards, play this card from your hand and add, and this card gains barrier for the turn. Active main once per turn, pay green. Draw one card, then choose one of your opponent's back cards to ignore barrier and care of it. <coughs> Neither of us actually play that deck, so I mean, yeah. I'm assuming this support is really good. I would assume like that is a very good support card, um, but yeah, I just never played the deck. No, despite all the brodies I ended up making. All right, guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Leave any thoughts here. I'm going to comments below, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.